Yo, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution XROM on this device. So let me show you the about section quickly over here. And if you go into the Android version, as you can see, the Android version is 9 Pi, of course. And let me go back. This is the Cobra version 2 for wired or Redmi Note 5 Pro. And this is the 18th August 2019 build over here official build of course and the security patch you can see is the latest like august 1st 2019 and this dark theme is like by default over here present on this rom and the stock launcher here is the pixel launcher and there is no like crazy customizations like double tap to sleep anywhere those things are simply not present over here so you get the google now cart to the left and you can't swipe down anywhere because this is a stock pixel launcher it does not support it so you have to like pull it up from here and let me show you the launcher settings quickly this is all you get for the launcher settings so pretty simplistic launcher it does not have like quick step or launcher launcher like customizations at all the stock camera here by default is MIUI camera and it does work fine it does not like have any bugs portrait mode and stuff everything does work over here no issues and this rom feels really really smooth and one really good thing about this rom is that this like zip file of this rom comes with the g apps so you don't need to flash any separate g apps if you're flashing the latest evolution x rom so that is one good thing because you do not have to download the g apps separately and it does have customizations fairly good amount of it let me show you if you go into the settings you have the evolution extras and inside system we do have a system updater over here as you can see you can check for updates and install it from here i think and we have the gesture options and we do have this swipe to take screenshot option as you can see the three finger screenshot gesture does work over here let me go back quickly and let me go into the evolution extras so this is all the customizations you get over here inside status bar we have the disable on lock screen like you can disable the status bar on the lock screen and the corner values and stuff are there system icons we have the headset bluetooth etc icon we also have a vaulty icon over here but regarding vaulty yes the vaulty calling working fine and even video calling option is there but in the in call ui the default in call ui you won't find any kind of call recorder so that is how it is let me go back we have roaming indicator bluetooth battery stats carrier label customization clock and date and stuff like for the status bar i think uh, yeah as you can see it's increasing the clock on the top left of the screen so the clock size you can even change the font and style and stuff so a lot of options over here for the clock like for everything there are a lot of options and we even have the big dotted circle or dotted circle or even android q style battery icon over here and in the battery percentage you can choose the position of it we have the notification ticker disabling option and inside notifications we have heads up disabling option over here and also we get like make heads up less annoying and stuff and in call vibrations are there like vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect etc options are there even blink flashlight on call is there inside quick settings we have the quick setting panel like customization you can change between these many quick setting toggle styles so these are pretty good op amount of options i would say for like the quick setting toggle styles let me just go to the bottom we have the battery estimates and stuff then we have the animation style option then also we have adaptive brightness and stuff inside power menu we do have advanced reboot let me show you this is how the power menu looks like if you go advanced you can directly reboot to system recovery or fast boot so this is really great and we also have the screen off animation from here like you can change it to crt or scale or the simple fade let me go back inside gestures we do have aosp gestures like this and double tap to sleep and brightness control is there so you can control the brightness just by sliding on the status bar so this is a really really great feature for me at least i use it on a daily basis so this is really a great feature for me let me just go back to lock screen and we here we have the like fingerprint unlock so always unlock with the fingerprint scanner option is there so it is really helpful like you do not have to enter pin whenever you are rebooting the device you can just tap on the fingerprint scanner and your device will be unlocked so that is working fine you can change the clock style and stuff of the lock screen from here as you can see we have a lot of options for the clock style too you can even change the font size and also the date style and sizes let me go back inside navigation we have the allow navigation bar option and if you disable the like navigation bar you can like enable this navigation gestures and go back just like this so that is one good thing that this thing is there but yeah i'll just use this 
like normal navigation bar and you can you have the option to invert the navigation bar layout so that is great and inside hardware buttons we have the long press for torch let me show you that if it's actually working fine or not so as you can see long press for torch does work super fine over here no issues regarding long press for torch and here is the fingerprint scanner speed So as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad and volume panel looks like this over here in this ROM. If you enable these options you can expand everything over here as you can see there are a lot of options. So yeah you can expand the volume panel just like this but you have to go to the volume panel and enable whatever options you need. Let me go back inside MISC we have the screenshot type changing option then we have wake up on plug then like usb default usb settings like i chose it to file transfer so these customizations are there and inside security if you go into lock screen preference you will find the automatic face unlock option and now if you set up your face unlock it will be working fine well the battery life over here is pretty decent not bad as you can see i have used the phone for about three hours and 20 minutes i got screen on time off and right now i have 61 percent battery left so you can definitely get six to seven hours of screen on time pretty easily in this ROM without any issues and if you go into the display settings let me show you that night light option is there it works and inside color settings you can like choose the colors of the screen really like in a great way and we have the dark theme style you can change it to black if you want to and we have the device theme option over here so that you can change it to light dark or whatever you like I have like set it on default let me show you more we have the double tap to wake option too so let me show you we have the double tap to wake so it works as you can see and in the lock screen it shows the weather and stuff so that is really common nowadays so these things are there let me go back and by the way the rom is like does feel really smooth over here for redmi note 5 pro and let me show you the sound settings quickly so here as you can see we do have this me audio direct or like the sound and answer over here and it does work flawlessly if you set it to youth edition sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty great in this ROM. now let me open up some of the apps before like i clear all the apps now let's open chrome file explorer facebook twitter play store youtube Now let's open all the apps from memory again. As you can see, all the apps are opening pretty smoothly and the animation of this ROM are like pretty smooth as well. As you can see, all the apps stays in memory even though this is a 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro. This is like working really fine. Now let's open PUBG and show you guys the like in which settings you can play PUBG on this ROM. And talking about banking apps, well yes, banking apps does work super fine in this ROM. You do not need to worry, it works right out of the box. I mean, I use Google Pay, so it does work right out of the box. So as you can see, in terms of the graphic settings inside PUBG, we can play on smooth and high, then we can go balanced and high, then you can go HD and high. So these options are present over here for playing PUBG in this ROM and gameplay performance should be like fine enough in this ROM. In my opinion, I would say if you need this like really great experience you can definitely flash this from it has a lot of customizations too but the only downside i would say is there is no like default call recording option and the stock launcher is a bummer also you can of course install any kind of like third party launcher like launcher launcher or like poco launcher and you can go like pretty good with it with the double tap to sleep and stuff so i'm not complaining but i'm just saying that those things are not present by default over here you have to like install it but we do have pre-included g apps on this zip file build of this rom so that is pretty great i would say follow this video if you want to install this rom on your device thank you so much for watching again give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet i'll catch you guys in the next one with a lot more custom rom videos until next time, this is Tiro signing off from KDN Tech and I'll catch you guys in the next one.